All right, Shalom to the elect of Yah Shar Allah. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so called blacks, so called Hispanics, so called Latinos, so called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners. Shalom to all of you. All right, before we get started with this lesson, Let's give the much due all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Racha Kodas, Ko Holoyim La, Abanawa, Alahaye Nawa, Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Racha Kodas. In the Hebrew tongue, I said all phrases to our Father, our God, Yahweh. In the name Yahweh Shai, in the name the Holy Spirit, the Bohannes of the Apostles and Elders and Bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. And Shalom to you believers, to the Akim Wa Aqua, which will be your brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Our Rasa's at this lesson is edifying and playing upon the tables. I'm your brother Malkaya. Out here in Pasadena, Texas. So today's topic is going to be a response to this video that the brother uh, goes by the whole for leg three uploaded. A response to the devil shall cast some of you into prison concentration camps. All right. So check this out. Are you in New York? Well, you better not cough because if you do. They can take you away. As a matter of fact, even if you're not coughing, they can take you away under the new Rule 2.13 Isolation and Quarantine Procedures gives the state of New York the ability to come into your home and take you away to quarantine without any notice for any virus or infection they make up, I mean, they deem necessary. You don't even have the option to fight it. You don't even get due process. It's not like, um, you know, a 5150 in California where you get that 72 hour hold make sure that you're not uh, dangerous no no you get hauled off they, they don't even tell you where they're going to take you they don't even tell your family where they're going to take you and if you refuse to open the door they'll kick it in even though there's no reasonable articulable suspicion whatsoever let alone probable cause and no warrant and no due process after i think i already mentioned that why would anybody stay there i wonder i mean this is horrible but you also get too high taxes and terrible city services all at the same time. If I lived in New York, I would be moving right now. All right. Hopefully you heard that loud and clear. So let's get these scriptures very quick. So you saw it in the beginning of the video. It has uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. All right. This is red lettering, meaning Yahweh Shah is speaking here. Our Lord and Savior. It says, it reads here, the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, right? The devil, the so-called white man, the Amalekites, the wicked elites, the high banking family, right? Behold, the devil shall cast some of you, right? Some of the elect, you believers, starting myself first and foremost. The devil shall cast some of you into prison. These concentration camps, for example. That ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. So some of the elect are going to have to experience this particular lot to fulfill this scripture. Okay. Some of the elect are going to have to suffer a complete number of days, right? Uh, they're going to have to suffer and have tribulation for a complete number of days at a concentration camp, okay? Because the elect is being tried, okay? It's your moment to prove, to show Yahweh that you have faith in him and you're going to stand boldly still, okay? You're not going to abandon him. You're not going to... Put Yahweh Shai back on the cross and onto a public shame. You're going to stand firm, even if you got to be put to death. 
right? The scripture does go into how there will be some martyrs in this truth, okay? To 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 be a witness and to give honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Alright, and there's nothing greater than a friend who's willing to lay his life down for a friend. So for an example, right, Yahweh Shai, he, he calls us friends, right? Because he revealed unto us what, what our Heavenly Father revealed unto him, okay? There's nothing greater than that. You know, Yahweh Shai, you know, he sacrificed himself for us, all right? And his, and his servant is not greater than the master, right? So why not we do the same in return for our Lord, Yahweh Shai Masiach? Whoever got whoever has to play that lot, speaking to myself first and foremost. Right? And guess what? If you're a martyr for this truth, hey, you're going back home. You have peace now. You got your dub. You won. You got your crown now. Alright. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, a complete number of days, ten days, seven days, a month, few months. Only our power knows. Okay. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You got your dub, man. You won. All right. Um, let's go to Revelation 12 and 12, and then 17. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so we're going to get verse 12. And then we're going to jump down to 17, okay? So the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12, and the KJV. Therefore rejoice, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, right, destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, to my people, the people of this world, especially the actual inhabitants. Of this earth, Job 9 24, right? For an example, right? Job 9 24. Um, Job 9 and 24, right? The earth is given to the hands of the wicked, right? They are the they are the very inhabitants of the earth, so destruction on, onto them, right? The Edomites, the wicked elites, all right? The, the high banking family, the uh, Illuminati's, for an example, okay? All right, Adomians. Right, Amalekites. Okay, rejoice, Slakia. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, the devil, right, the devil, for the devil, for the devil is come down onto you. Having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. They have a short time left of rulership and they're about to come down with great wrath to try to fulfill their NWO, New World Order, a digital enslavement system, total control, which it would not be fulfilled. Okay. All right. But they still going to try it. Okay. They're going to come down with great wrath. All right. Expect another LD lockdown that will be much more draconian, much more harsh, strict than the first LD. Okay. Martial law troops. All right. Roaming around your, your streets. And these martial, these martial law troops don't expect it to be your local U.S. citizen. There's already a lot of EU troops. Me no speaking no English troops here. All right. <laughs> All right. Foreign troops, man. Gurgle troops already stationed here and throughout different parts of America, man. All right. Esau going to use them to come down with great wrath, man. Lockdowns, shutdowns, you know, casting people into, into these concentration camps. All right. Come down with uh, draconian laws. Okay, because he knows he had a short time, and when he does come down with this great wrath, all right, even even other Edomites, so-called white people, right, even your own leaders are gonna come down with great wrath upon you too, man. All right, but uh, when this devil does come down with great wrath, he's gonna show 
that perpetual hatred, that everlasting hatred that he has towards Israelites. Okay, men, women, children, young, old, maids. Okay, all right. Verse 17 And the dragon was wrought with the woman. The dragon, the dragon, the dragon, the dragon, the dragon. Okay, the wicked elites. Okay, so called white people, the Edomites. All right. The dragon was wrought with the woman, the woman, Yasha Allah, okay? Because we're liking onto a calmly delicate woman, all right? We belong to him, all right? And the dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. There's a remnant, right? The elect. Because within our nation, right? It says, which keep the commandments of the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and have the testimony, and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the spirit of prophecy. So when this devil comes down with great wrath, right, he's going to finally show his horns, his hatred towards us as a nation. And within our nation, he really wants to make war upon the Israelites who are truly awakened, who are serving the true power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And especially the prophets, the true prophets, because the prophets has a testimony of Yahweh Shai Masiyah, the spirit of prophecy. Let's get that right quick, 19 and 10. Um, okay, so the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. Right? The angels telling John the Revelator, like, hey yo, chill out, bro. Like, <laughs> well, not like that, but you know, like, hey, like, don't, don't, don't do that. You know, don't don't worship. Don't worship me pretty much. Alright. Because I know I'm 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 your fellow servant. I'm 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 your brother. That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai, who the world even called Jesus Christ. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay? And not every Israelite that's in his truth, not every Israelite man is truth, has the spirit of prophecy, the testimony of Yahweh Shai Masiach. Okay, you should be able to tell by their fruit, right? Their doctrine. Are they actually going to prophecies? Are they actually warning you of the times you're coming into? Are they warning you of this? You know, being cast into FEMA camps, the persecution, the great insurrection, the MOTB, the punishment for taking it, Jacob's trouble. And the list goes on. Telling you who truly are the enemies. Okay, so that's the, the testimony of Yahweh Shai Masiach. Okay, so let's go back. Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. And the dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony, right, the spirit of prophecy, and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right. So that's who this devil really has his evil eyes for. The Israelites who are truly awakened. The Israelites, who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh have revealed his secrets unto, the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 7, for an example. Um, so let's get, uh, let's get this revelation, not revelation, uh, second edges, second edges, okay. So the book of second edges, chapter 16, uh, we're going to start from 68 all the way down to six, uh, 76, 76, yeah. So verse 68, King James Version of Apocrypha, for 2nd Ezra chapter 16, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude, right, that great multitude, think of these different troops, the EU troops, foreign troops, Gurgle troops, right? The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you. And feed you being idle 
with things offered on to idols. So, for an example, you know, let's say, you know, we end up at a at a FEMA camp. They're going to try to brainwash us again, brainwash us from what we learn and try to unlearn us and teach us, you know, whatever doctrine the the, the damn devil wants us to know to learn, right? Think of the movie. There's a movie called Fahrenheit, five two one, I think. Uh, there's these firefighters that goes around burning books. If anyone's caught reading particular books, you will suffer consequences for it. And one of the books is the Bible. And another book that had that they had in there was a thin red book without any letters. But if you look at it spiritually, you can think of the Apocrypha. Okay, you will suffer consequences for it. And actually try to feed you pagan sacrifices, okay? Different types of doctrine, doctrines, philosophies, and actually try to feed your abominable fools and shit so they can make mockery of you if you give in, talk shit to you, to make you give up the fate. All right? But don't let that happen. All right, you got to stand firm. Remember, second Ezra chapter, uh, Nasalaki of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10, right? You know, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Uh, uh, no, fear none of those things But thou shalt suffer The devil shall cast some of you to prison You shall have tribulation ten days uh, Be faithful unto death And you shall have to give you the crown of life Just paraphrasing Alright, during that tribulation They're going to try to feed us You know uh, You know uh, Offers unto idols You know, pagan sacrifices and shit Alright uh, so, uh, 69 And they that consent onto them, so whichever Israelite consent onto them, the enemy, right? They shall be head in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So, if you want to get that, let's get that in a good news translation, right quick. Second Ezra, um, oh, it's a lot, yeah. Get that in the G and T. Let's go down here so you can better uh, have a better understanding of what I'm reading. Let's see. All right, so remember 68, right? A vast mob of people is ready now to descend on you and devour you like flames. They will drag some of you off and force you to eat pagan sacrifices. So these troops, for an example, okay, these pagan sacrifices, actual uh, pagan sacrifices like abominable meats, but also different uh, philosophies and doctrines try to, uh, I guess, relearn you, I guess you could say. Verse 69, if you give in to them, they will ridicule you, mock you and humiliate you. For an example, right, they may be saying all kinds of shit like, oh, weren't you one of those Israelites that was always talking about how, you know, if you do this and do that, you know, uh, if, if, if you don't stand firmly for for your how about Shmi was shy, you know, the pretty much know everything that you said and how is and Bible is in your lesson. I'm going to try to use it against you, man. All right. Um, let's go back to the KJV, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, a violent um, uprising, right? Violent persecutions. A violent uprising against an authority or government. And the elect, the 144,000 elect men, are being groomed to be the next government bodies on planet Earth. On the Yahweh Masiach, right? All right. So it's going to be a great violent uprising against the elect. Even you few sincere sisters out there, all right? You ain't, you not excluded from this, all right? You won't get caught up in that great insurrection as well, too, because don't you fear the law, all right? Um, the G and T, verse seventy, right down here. In many places. Near the cities, there will be violent persecutions against those who fear the law. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Verse 71, they, right, for example, these, these, these troops, they shall be like mad men, right, crazy, psychos, brute beasts, wild animals. 
sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashmi Awashai. These troops, all right, they're not gonna have pity or regard that you are an Israelite that serves the Lord. All right, they're gonna have great hatred towards you, okay? Great hatred towards us. Okay. Mm, verse 71, right down here. The attackers will act like wild people. They will plunder and destroy without pity all those who still fear the Lord. All right. Scripture, scripture goes into how like we shall be hated of all men's be hated of all men for his name's sake. All right. Verse 70, uh, 72. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Some of us are going to have to experience being forcefully dragged, taken out of our place of dwellings, our cribs. All right. And was whatever is considered as a, a possession, they're going to take it. And especially in a time of war, women and children are also considered as spoils, possessions that the enemies will take. Okay, so a lot of you Israelite women are going to be raped and taken as a spoil. Scripture goes into that too, how our enemies rape uh, the, the, the women of Judah and, and, and the women of, of, of Israel, just paraphrasing, of both kingdoms. All right. Um, it says, uh, the attackers will act like wild people. They will plunder and destroy without pity all those who still fear the Lord. They will they will turn them out of their homes and take away all their possessions. Whatever is considered as a resource, these troops are going to want to take it. It can be also, yeah, yeah, uh, it can also be a woman. It could be children. All right. Um, let's go back. Verse 73. All right. So when this happens, right, to some of the, uh, of the elect, right, this is a moment to have your fate. Be tried and prove unto you how Bashmi al Shah that you don't stand firmly. All right. Because that's the only way you can grow faith is when you're going through trials and tribulations. All right. Now, when you're having it easy, then shall they be known, right? The elect. Then shall they be known who are my chosen electos, the elect. And they shall be tried as the goal in the fire. All right, that's going to be part of our uh, fiery trial, right? Having to be uh, cast cast out of our homes by a great multitude of people who hate us, man. About a bunch of wild beasts and brute beasts, you no know, people with that type of mindset, psychos and crazies and shit. Here, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the beloved is, is the elect. The days of trouble are at hand. Jacob's trouble, that great insurrection, that persecution, right? The hour of temptation. The days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is your guide. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. Don't be afraid. Don't be second guessing. All right. Regardless of how bad it looks, you got to think back to the scriptures, man. Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, right? Right? When thou getteth wisdom, get understanding. Just paraphrasing. Okay? Be not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh Bashmi Awashai is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Saith the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. So, in a time of this great insurrection, this violent persecution, all right, don't fear, or don't be afraid, don't doubt, because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to be performed tremendous, undescribable uh, uh, divine interventions for his elect. Okay, uh, let's see, let's go down to verse 72. They will turn them out of their homes and take away all their possessions. This will be the time of testing 
for my chosen people, the elect, and they will prove to be as pure as as refined gold. But listen to what the Lord to what the Lord says, my chosen people. The time of terrible suffering is near, but I will I will rescue you. Don't be afraid or have any doubts. I am your power and I will lead you. If you keep my laws and commands, says the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you must not let your sins weigh you down or control you. All right, so when when this great insurrection comes upon us, you can't uh don't 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 fold pretty much don't don't break. All right, stand firm. I speak to myself first and foremost. All right, and when that persecution happens, right, hey, it's a blessing. To go to such uh to go to such trials. All right. Um, the book of Matthew, chapter five, let's see, verse ten to twelve. All right. Bless our day, right, the elect. Bless our day which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So it's a blessing to be a Hebrew Israelite. So-called black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Latino, so-called Native American Indian, Israelite fauna, who believes in Yahweh Bashmi Shai, right? Who is going to be subject onto hostility and ill treatment because of their race, who we are as a people, for our beliefs, right? Doing the will of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, because you, the you, uh, our reward is the kingdom of heaven. All right, being with Yahweh Shai from the very beginning in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, salvation. Okay, verse uh, 11 Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. So, when the accused of thy brethren, the so called white man, start going around, start lying on us, right? These the, the little small hat people. The Caucasians, Europeans, Germans, Russians, so-called white people, Emlekites, right? The wicked elites, right? And even all the way down to your favorite cousin, your favorite uncle, your father, your mother, your brethren, your siblings, your so-called day ones, your high school friends, all right? When people start lying on you, man, falsely, for Yahweh Bashmi Al-Shah's namesake. That's right, so it's a blessing when men shall revile you, right? When men shall criticize in an abusive or angrily insulting matter. So let them call us all kinds of names, calling us rapists, terrorists, with this and that, who extremists, all right, lying on us, man, criticizing us, attacking us, all right, branding us, stigmatizing us, blackening our uh, our reputation, all right, lying on us, man, is a blessing because all for righteousness sake, for a great cause. And persecute, right? Persecute. Persecute. Subject someone to hostility and ill treatment, especially because of their ethnicity, being a Hebrew is like Yasha Allah, religion or sexual orientation. Yeah, because you know, we ain't down with that LGBT bullshit. All right. That's just abomination. All right. The Lord hates that. So, you know, we're, we're against that shit. All right. Scripture goes into, you know, those who fear the Lord to. To hate evil and love the good. What's the evil? For an example, this LGBT bullshit. Wickedness. All right. And love the good. Righteousness. All right. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Right? The prophets of old got persecuted for the same reason. The prophets of old got reviled for the same reason. People were saying all manner of evil against them falsely for Yahweh Bashmi Al-Shah's namesake. Right? And our works do follow us, right? Right? History merely repeats itself. Right? The spirit of prophets are subject onto the, the, the prophets, is paraphrasing. We're prophesying today. Abaratzah, we don't same prophets of the old that was prophesying. 
your worst follows you. Your treasures are being stocked up in the heavens where no man can steal or break into and no moth can uh, corrupt. Just paraphrasing that scripture. All right. And rejoice because we, we were found worthy to suffer for his name's sake because not any or all Hebrew Israelite was counted worthy were picked to suffer for his name's sake. All right. And we were chosen, the whole for elect. Abaratza, we are of the elect. Abaratza, we are those very names that's written in heaven. All right. You know, get salvation, man. All right. To make it through the times we're going to have to experience. All right. Uh, let me get one more. Uh, and that time of, uh, for an example, when the this devil comes down with great wrath, and he starts casting people into these prisons, these concentration camps. Don't be surprised when you find out that the reason why you ended up in it is because your biological father, your biological mother, your cousin, your, your, your kin folks, you know, sold you out, turned you in. Yahweh Shah said this, red lettering for the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren. And kinfolks and friends, and some of you shall they be caused, shall they cause be put to death. All right, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. All right, let's change this real quick. NLT. All right, close that right quick. All right, so I said, even those, I just did NLT, the New Living Translation. Even those closest to you, your parents, brothers, relatives, and friends will betray you. They will even kill some of you. And everyone will hate you because you are my followers. All right. So don't be surprised. You know, speak to myself first and foremost. You end up in a FEMA camp because someone from your past. Your parents, your brothers, your relatives, your friends sold you out, man. All right. Be prepared for that, man. All right. And always keep in the back of your mind, you know, while you're doing this. Always keep in the back of your mind that your Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the heavenly hosts are watching. All right. Stand firm. All right. And if if if, if you got to go back to the spirit world, hey, you are at rest now. You got your dub. You won. <laughs> you completed your race. You did your dub. You won. All right. Savarat is out. The lesson was edifying. Playing upon the tables. Hopefully, it was a fate booster. It was exhorting through the spinning power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rechak Kodash. This closed out by giving the much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rechak Kodash. Koholoim la, Abanawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rechak Kodash. The honors of the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone and much due respect to you since they are came that's labor and works shalom to you believers to the Akim wa aqua which will be your brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to the truth abaratzah you was edified all right shalom